What's up, people? I'm here. We're doing um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 4, Episode 14. Um, this episode, Love and Hip Hop, can I just say first day? They, I'm starting to really enjoy them. Um, by them, I mean some of them. There are still some cast members I feel can be uh, thrown off, and I would never worry about hearing from them ever again. But I, I'm really enjoying what they're doing with the cast members and, and their... Um, storylines this season and the reason why I'm enjoying them is because one I have even though she was so irrelevant to me last season and the beginning of this season I gave zero fucks about her I'm actually looking forward to seeing what Kalina's storyline is what she's going through um I am uh, I cannot believe I'm about to say this but she's interesting me interesting me more than anybody else right now at this point and I think that is a great thing. Like, you better get your come up girl. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad with it at all. So basically what happens is Rashida and Kirk now have made up, uh, have fake made up, meaning they never had problems anyway. I found them on Instagram and Facebook. They were always fine taking pictures, traveling, doing stuff together. This marriage problems from day one has been only for TV. Like, them bitches ain't going through all this. Kirk ain't ever cheat on her. I mean, these bitches had a baby for crying out loud. Obviously, they was doing good. They was fucking... Uh, like, come on now. Um, fake ass auction and all this stuff. Talking about she went to go see a lawyer. Bitch, sit down. But anyway, so they fake made up. So now, Rashida has taken on the mantle of messy bitch because she needs to be on the show. But we'll get to that hoe later. Because I see right through you. I see right through you, fake asshole. So, um, let's just get the side scenes out of the way. First of all, I don't know where, like, Mama D, who is, who is, you know, making me laugh. Like, I never took her storyline serious. But she makes me laugh. She ain't been seen. Um, Steve and Jocelyn have been having very minimal minimal scenes. So it might be true that they're filming for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. They've been seen out there with some of the Hollywood cast. So maybe that's why they're not filming as much. Because they're traveling back and forth. I don't know. I'm sorry. I keep looking at myself. I look very cute today. I'm sorry. But uh, I just look very cute. But uh, I, I just lost all trains of thought on what I was. Oh! Oh! So, you know, Jocelyn filmed with Margot. But first, Margot filmed with Stevie J. And she's like, you know, the, the photo shoot, this fake ass photo shoot. She's telling Stevie J, I want 10 G's. And um, if not, you can use my photos. And, and Stevie was like, I'll give you 10 seconds to get up out of here and she's talking shit and he's counting back 10 9 8 even though she's talking shit i bet i bet her ass is out there before he hit them before he hit one also Morgan ain't got no titties and no ass she's basically shaped like a dude like that was my first time really looking looking at her i was like but mario why 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 you look like that boo um I don't know. But anyway, so next we had, um, so when she went and filmed with Jocelyn, okay, you thought Jocelyn was about to be on your side against Stevie? Come on now. So Jocelyn shut the hell down. Like, Margo, well, and she's like, there's a friend. There goes another friendship I thought I had. Bitch, I love Jocelyn watching on TV, but I'm not stupid. I would never try to be friends with Jocelyn in real life. Jocelyn is, no, no, come on now. Come on. So, whatever, girl. Move on with your life. Yeah, that's tragic. So, anyway. In order, he Scrappy's trying to have a real storyline this season. Like 13, 14 episodes in. Um, the, the child support thing happened the first two episodes in. That was over. So now he's having problems with Bambi. She does a video with some artist I ain't never heard of. And she did a video that I ain't never seen. And Rashida and Tammy Miss Ass are there, you know, watching her. And Rashida's like, Scrap is fam. So I need to let Scrappy know what you doing. Okay, Rashida don't know what the fuck. She don't know if Scrappy wanna be family. She don't know if Erica wanna be family. She don't know if Kirk wanna be her family. She don't know what the fuck she wanna do. Fuck her. Anyway. So she run her mess ass back to Scrappy and gotta spill the tea that, you know, she was all up on this man in this video. Cause she played Bambi played the love interest. And so, as soon as Bambi enters in, Kirk and Rashida scampers out. They scamper out. So, you know, Scrappy basically calls on her foolishness. And she's like, oh, that's why Rashida old ass ran out of here. Which, I don't blame her. 
So, Scrap, I feel like Bambi made some, some points. She was like, we're supposed to be artists. We we never even did a song together. My life is in about Scrappy, Mama D, Erica, his daughter. Like, I need some time for me. I can't get mad at that. I can't get mad at that. She needs some time. Well, I was like, okay, I see what you're saying, Bambi, or as they call her. As Mama D calls her, uh, oh, uh, the Bambi. So, then we have... Oh, uh, what is her name? KD. He basically goes, she goes to let Jock know that, you know, they set her up to go there. And and Jock did do something. The girl, let, Jock's baby mom number four, said that KD had a fake pregnancy. That's something personal that she shouldn't even know about right now. Because at this point, the show hadn't aired. They're still filming. And so, the only way she know, because Jock told her. And so, Jock turns around and calls her stupid and cussing out and talking about get the fuck out and stuff like this. I hate dudes who do that. Take responsibility for your shit when you fuck up. I ain't got time for that bullshit. Ooh, men. Ooh, these men ain't shit. What is Jock te teaching his kids? Anyway. So, next up comes... Who is it? Jock goes to see Carly. Pointless scene. Basically, he trying to check her, but he ended up checking her out. Typical fucking dude. Like, whatever. So, after the fight at Jock... At Carly's event, you know, life, Jen is like, you know, I got this situation, this probation thing, and I ain't trying to get caught up with you and your bullshit, you know, that's the first time I've seen Carly go from reality star to, like, she genuinely was on camera embarrassed, like, she's got a legitimate celebrity, and she's legitimately fucking it up, hmm, so anyway, the best part of the episode, Kalina, so, Kirk and Kalina's husband, Tony, tried to get them to talk, Kirk sets them up. He takes Rashida out to dinner. They're sitting at this big table. And then Kalina, her husband, walk up. And Kalina's like over it. Her face is like, are you serious? This this is your idea of a romantic date. Uh, so, her husband, I feel like he's fucking clueless. This woman is talking shit about your husband. Making fun of the fact that you're... I mean, let's talk shit about your wife. Making fun of the fact they laughed when you brought up that your wife was going through postpartum depression. They laughed when you were bringing up issues about your wife, you and your wife. Yet, he tells his wife, I always thought Kirk and Rashida, they were the model for how to have a great marriage. Who? Why? Kirk and Rashida, these bitches are, they are, they are making fun of their marriage just to stay on the reality show. And that is their basis of a good marriage? Come on. Then he hits her with, you know, I thought if something happened, that they would be our baby's godparents. Kalina looked like if she could have the power to throw knives from her eyes, her husband would be dead. Bitch. And then Rashida's laughing and shit. Your friend's supposed to be going through something. I don't give a damn if she talks shit about you. Clearly, Rashida gives zero fucks about the girl because if you were friends for 20 plus years and she talked about you once to a bitch who clearly was talking about you first because she didn't even tell you to mad they came, you're not even going to support the fact that this woman's going through postpartum depression, that she's had a child and she's having issues. You don't relate to that? Hello? Did you not have a baby and your husband was trying to get him DNA tested? He got a DNA test on your child for a reality show. He made you look like an ass for a reality show. Yet you're laughing at somebody who's going through, you know, kind of a little bit of the same thing you're going through. Okay, whatever, bitch. Rashida, I have zero fucks and zero respect for Rashida. I really don't. I have no respect for her because of how she's portraying herself. She just basically sold her soul for reality TV. I mean, and, and, and she's talking about, you know... And that's what Kalina's Kalina told Rashida. You sold your soul. And, um... Kalina, uh, Rashida's like, you sold your stupid about his body. Okay, maybe she's having rough pants right now, but at one point, Kalina was in a group. She was, you know, had number ones and was making money. She's still a successful songwriter. She's still making money. She's still, she has been on tours and stuff. That is more than what Rashida has ever done. Yes, Rashida, you're making money. You have your store, you have your hair and lipstick and clothes or whatever, but your primary thing you've always been boasting about was your music. I'm talking about this might be my last album. Go where the first one at. You need the first album to get her last album. I mean, like, I. Uh, come on now. Whatever. I don't know. It heats me up, but I like it. Not because Rashida, I'm, I'm really loving Kalina's storyline because you see Kalina is genuinely hurt and she genuinely thought she had a friend and a sister in Rashida and Rashida's like I'm about the love and hip hop 
you know, whatever. And I, I used to think when the show first started, I was like, everybody said Kirk and Rashid was the boring couple, but they were the basis of what Love and Hip Hop is. And to compete with the other ratchets, all of a sudden, season two, they're having marriage problems when they were damn near perfect. Season one, bitch, die. The season one of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Kirk and Rashida, is the real Kirk and Rashida. The seasons two through four is the fake ass will do anything to stay on TV, Kirk and Rashida, basically. But uh, I'm looking forward to Kalina's storyline. I really am. I really am. I think right now she's what's pulling me in because Jocelyn and Stevie, they've been kind of chill lately. Um, but um, Kalina's pulling me. And I think Mona, you know, I didn't see it at first. I was like, Mona, why is she here? But I think Mona has done a great job with you know, proving why she cast them. So, we'll see what happens on episode 15. But until then, keep being happy. It drives your haters mad. Bye.